Hi, M and M, King Kitty. We're missing a kitty out here. And just a quick update on the goats and everything. Their chickens are doing well. We're weeding out the ones that aren't laying eggs. Those two, we won't get rid of their show chickens. And this girl's gonna go, this girl's gonna go. One of these three golden ones is Chrysalis chicken, so I wanna make sure we don't get rid of the wrong chicken. Some of the chickens are in there eating, some are out here. I just fed them, so. Yeah, I hear a few there in there. It's just like all the ch chickens are not laying. Some of the older ones are not laying, so I've got to figure out which ones aren't. The only problem is these three here, they're golden. We gotta figure out which one is our daughter's show chicken because I don't want to get rid of it, although it's not laying either. So we gotta figure that out. That rooster is such a pain. He likes to come after me when I go in there. Oh, he's so nerve wracking. <laughs> okay, oh, those guys are good and they're fed today. <clears throat> getting more expensive for feed and everything. So we don't want to be feeding animals that we're not doing anything for this ranch. We got two girls over here looking pretty fat. Pretty sure. Yeah. They're, do they're doing probably December. We've got red. Everybody's looking really good. I'm pretty sure I felt Mia's babies. This one's looking fat. Some of them are getting a little bit of an udder. Chloe's getting fat her udder's starting to feel a little bit now all the girls look pretty good we've got the two over here looking good get outside this fence um i haven't taken down my greenhouses yet probably time to do that because they're not really producing anything she's getting an udder so i'll be keeping an eye on her and mom's not getting an udder yet they're a lot um, less fat this year, so maybe not twins, just singles. I don't know. I'm pretty sure she'll have probably twins. I think Chloe's going to have, she won't have triplets, I don't think. I think she's got twins. Not sure about these other ones. If she'll have a single like last year or she'll have twins. She really, can't really tell right now. they still got some growing to do. thinking that one might have twins. That brown, light tan, and white one might have twins, and then the other ones may... Oh, they may have triplets, and the other ones might have twins or a single. I don't know. I guess we'll just have to wait and see. Look around to the other side here. I've got the barn cleaned out, and the stalls are cleaned on this side. i got to work on the other stalls on that side. Make sure they're all clean ready to go. These guys are all ready to put goats in. I'm keeping the goats out of here because all they did was poop and pee in everything. So these are all, just gonna spread the straw out. They're all ready to go. There's all cleaned and nice in there. And they'll be ready for their kidding. Once they have their kids and I gotta move them out to somewhere else, we're gonna get this barn shelter transitional um, stall thing done. There's four stalls here. Well, there will be four stalls. And then once they transition out of here, they'll be going over to the little barn that's got, if I need to separate for stalls, I have two, two stalls over there that hopefully will rotate in from this barn to this barn and then to that barn. So this will have some heat in it for the kids that we need to, moms and kids we need to move over here for a transitional period till they're able to go outside and just have a shelter barn and She's still in with Sig. Sig, yeah, their pen is such a mess because of the weather. It's just pretty yucky. They don't much care for the pumpkins, but the seeds give them a uh, natural, like, dewormer. It deworms them and without medication, so a little extra bonus there. They have had a dewormer earlier on, but... I grew some pumpkins to dewarm them this year and they like to eat the pumpkins. There's three horses. So I gotta fix those posts I haven't fixed. Hi, Royal. Hi, Nighthawk. Hi, Smokey. They're just looking at me. They're like, Mom, feed me. 
you got a pasture to finish eating on. <laughs> so silly, but when it gets starts getting bad weather, we'll open up that gate and let them have this area to go in and get out of stuff. It's really nasty. I'll just lock them up in there in that paddock area with the stalls, which is another thing I need to get clean soon. Otherwise, I'll just leave the gates open and they can go out to the pasture and come in as they need to come in. So it gets like really snowy and yucky out. Hi, girls. Hoping these girls are pregnant. I don't know. She has a tight belly. She has a tight belly. Miss Kirker over there does not. So don't know. There's really no good way to feed these guys right now because there's does in here. So the pens are all really yucky. And they usually clean it up pretty good, though. Unless they walk in it, then they won't eat it. So, I don't know. We'll just have to... We've got to give some more time to find out if these girls are pregnant or not. Hi, Junie. These are my two new ones. I'm 100% certain Curry is not. But then she could be super early on. And maybe she just caught just recently. So, I wouldn't know for a couple weeks. And if her belly firms up, then I'm going to know for sure. You guys got all this hay over here and you're going over there. I don't get it. I don't know, I just want to make sure they're covered so they're going to stay in here. These girls just came to us in August, end of August. So, September, October, well, you're just going to leave them in a bit longer till I start seeing something going on, huh? Just to make sure, because Curry had her babies in April. Our babies are seven months old this month, and she's just gonna be a late bloomer as far as breeding I think she caught in November of last year and yeah so I think she's just gonna be a goat that doesn't want to breed until the winter months apparently hi guys our bees are still going one of our boxes of bees died not sure probably lost the queen this one's still going though Got the supers on stuff, so we'll see if they make it through the winter. So we're not really holding out a lot of hope for it because we lost both sets of bees last year and who knows what's gonna happen. So I don't know, they're in there, they're doing their thing and they're still alive, which is a plus because this time last year we didn't have any bees. We didn't have them like, I don't know, a couple months after we got them, so. Hi, Nighthawk. We've got to put a hot wire up here because they're pushing on this gate, so they've, they don't cross that line there. <laughs> Hi. What are you doing, huh? He's just standing there, relaxing, enjoying the sun, I guess. Hi, buddy. You're a 20-year-old man. Wow. That's crazy. You're going to be 21. Huh. Hi, Smokey. Royals out there eating. He got really sick a couple of weeks ago and we had to get some antibiotics and they were really expensive and put them on him. And then the other two started getting sick, so I shared his antibiotics with them. <clears throat> well, they all looking okay for right now. The antibiotics cleared him up pretty quickly. Might be a rough winter though, huh, buddy? You guys haven't grown out your, your hair very much. They're not all that furry yet. You gotta grow some hair, mister. How are you gonna stay warm? Oh, with these warmer days and freezing cold nights, it's kind of hard to grow your hair, huh? Yeah. I'm sure it'll kick in. He's getting a little fuzzy. You need to grow your, your hair, mister. <laughs> are you chillaxing? Huh? He's such a funny horse. Such a funny horse. Smokey, what are you doing? What are you doing? <clears throat> so, yeah, not a whole lot up. Just trying to get things cleaned up, picked up, ready for winter. Huh, you guys ready for winter? No? Like your warm days, huh? So yeah, that's about it. Guess we will catch you guys on the next video and get closer to kidding season here. Thank you for watching and I hope you guys all stay safe and have a great week.